Hey guys, welcome back to the Confirm and RM YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Getting ourselves back into a two minute technicals video looking at BTC. And as you can see, we actually got our move pretty much to a T. We were looking at getting around $27,100. And uh, lo and behold, what did we do? We hit $27,100 with this uh, candle close. We wicked up to around $27,200. As you, I, you know, we were kind of talking about the fact that it would try to wick up to this uh, red line up here. You know, that was covered in the last video. but. As you can see, getting rejected, coming back down, holding the 618 at this moment. So what do we see happening next? That is the question, correct? So we can obviously grab ourselves a, um, a trend line here. Kind of try, try going across at least. It's more of like a horizontal line right there. Uh, but let's grab this right here, get rid of this. And the one thing we can kind of see here is that we kind of have like this parallel channel kind of rising upwards. It's like an ascending ascending channel as you can see constantly rejected from the center got ourselves to push up to the upside and now starting to break through so my only stipulation is when you see something like this typically your break is the length of the parallel channel and it looks like if we are to reject from here from where it has actually started to reject it's going back to twenty six thousand six hundred and twenty eight dollars which, as you guys know, it is Monday. Mondays are never usually that great to begin with. So uh, if we come over here to RSI, we can see how things are. Uh, we're starting to break through. So if this candle in this four hour does solidify itself as bearish and breaks through the longer term moving average here on the RSI, I would be looking at getting that actual full move to the downside there of holding uh, that $26,628. Um, at the moment, I don't really have too, too much of a support. Besides that, we can kind of go across here. You can see if we kept the bottom of these two right here. You can see it comes up to be around 26,500. So it might wick itself down to the 382, around uh, $26,519. Um, but as you can see, getting rejected again from the 20 day moving average here on the four hour chart. So at this point, I would be expecting further rejection. It looks like we go here and then a daily. It looks like in the longevity wise of things, you'd be seeing itself come to around uh, $26,160, just about hitting that 20 set, uh, that 100 day moving average, sorry about that. But I don't believe that that's actually where it's gonna hold. The 100 day moving average is usually just a temporary stop. So we're gonna see how it happens. But you know, we were talking about hitting the region of $25,200 by next Sunday, just about. And as you guys can see, it's on its way there. And it would just make sense for it to go there because it's getting rejected for another further moving average on here on the four hour. As you can see, it, it was, it's been trying to get above it for a while now. And if we do get this candle close here in the next three hours, I would be expecting that. And then we can start talking about further downside. But realistically, it's in this longer trend, as you guys can see from the bottom here, this right there grab our trend line, go to the bottom right here, and you can see, wha-bam, it is that $25,000, $400 region. So, hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I appreciate every single one of you. It's just my ideas, just my stipulations, but obviously it moves and waves downwards, but you can see it shows there by Wednesday to Saturday, somewhere in between there. Obviously, we'll get our catalysts, and we can see how the chart progresses through there, but this is my ideas, or these are my ideas, rather. <laughs> And um, remember, none of it's financial advice. It's just, you know, I'm just a silly guy just trying to figure out TA on Bitcoin and other uh, cryptos, which, you know, usually we do a pretty damn good job at figuring stuff out here. So hope you guys are having a good one. I'll see you on uh, the next video. Hope you guys had a good Mother's Day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.